Hello friends and welcome to another D&D Oxventure. My name is Corazon de Baena, the human pirate rogue, and I have prepared a song. Uh, Bard, if you would sing this. Okay. Should Did tell you take requests? Yeah, apparently. Oh, I wish should, I knew. Uh, oh, yeah, if you could, free Bard. If you could hold that for me. <laughs> I'll be yeah, in the music stand. Uh, Inspiration for Johnny. Immediately. Yay. Uh, Corazon, oh Corazon, look to the horizon. Yeah. Brave rhyme, there you will see Good this rhyme. ship on the sea. Corazon, oh Corazon, his adventures will get. This is quite long, is the only thing I'm thinking. I mean, how long should a song be? 20, 30 minutes? 20, uh, um, well, yeah, how long is this one, do you anticipate? I mean, at least twice that. Okay. <laughs> Corazon, no oh, Corazon, everyone thinks that he's cool and he's got a good hat and good shoes. It, it, um, it says brackets freestyle here, so that's what's happening. Yeah, well, you're the yeah. bard, I mean. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Do we want to maybe go on an adventure? Job. Thank no? you yeah. for allowing me some creative All right, freedom. fine. <laughs> you introduce yourselves. <laughs> All right, get your, get your songs out, everyone, right? <laughs> I am Egbert. just me that wrote a song. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing for you guys. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm Egbert, the uh, clumsy dragonborn paladin. Woo! Woo. I haven't prepared a song. <laughs> wow. Well. Or maybe a haiku. I'm Is this a haiku? Prudence the tiefling warlock, and I don't know how haikus work. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Haikus the end. Work, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. The end, the end, the... There you go. Yeah. Uh, I am Merylwyn. The wood elf druid. When will I, Meryl, when will I see you? <laughs> <laughs> Not a haiku. Prudence, do, 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 do. She is Cthulhu's girl. I love it. All right. Wait, let's do it over. All right, Dob the half orc bard, here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hello, I'm literally everybody else in the world. Yay! Everyone else in the world. Yeah, you prepared a song Yay! for me. There we go. <laughs> mm. So we begin this latest Oxventure, um, as many of your Oxventures have started recently, at Necropolis on Sea. Where you're oh, in, God, right. this place. in your horrifying mansion. Maybe you're sat around, you've just finished a relaxed brunch. You're mm. sort of just you're chilling out, you're having some, some you time. I imagine it's like avocado on toast, but covered in ash and dust. Yeah, I mean... It's not haunted anymore, yeah. so the food is real now. Yeah. I've added ash and dust. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great it's way of getting, you get a little extra fibre into your diet. Add ash. Cool. I'm uh, writing a note to the estate. Like insulation fiber or? Yeah. <laughs> Just whatever you can pull out of the walls. <laughs> Describe it as a fixer upper. <laughs> I really need to move this effing house. <laughs> oh, no. But it's your family no. estate. Yeah. It's but it's horrible. No, it's not. Hey, Raven. Just needs a bit I'm of in the rookery, so I'll take that. All right. Um, Get that to the estate agent. I'm hanging out with the crows. <laughs> Black and chrome everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. It never made it to the estate agent. I don't oh, want to sell this place. Excellent. Okay, hopefully we can move this house right. soon because it's right. giving me bad vibes. I'm in a room with being a goth with the, okay. with the birds. Are we yeah. all in separate rooms? Yeah. Oh. I'm headfirst in the uh, fridge, obviously. Yeah. I naturally. mean, I'm down in the in the living room, Dob. I assume you're here joining me for brunch. Yeah. Got yeah. my yeah. Got got my feet up by the fire. I'm, I'm wearing eating... a smoking jacket. One of those little. Fez hats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating ash avocado off my lap. <laughs> I'm eating regular avocado with no ash on it. It's nice. Um, I'm in the garden um, next to a yew tree because I'm definitely having some literal yew time. <laughs> There's a sudden clap of thunder. Yay! <laughs> And uh, actually, before uh, Dob and Coruscant, bin bag the wizard just materialised and goes, Meryl went, oh. God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, you never learned to knock bin bag the idiot wizard. Bin this bag, jerk, it's me mean? again, oh, bin bag. Look, bin bag, this is my house. I don't turn up at your house bother you. Can we I? go? Can we turn up at your house? It's more of a hovel. Yeah, I can imagine. Can we go? Yes. <laughs> I arrive in the living room with armfuls of food and go, Bin bag! Uh, Bibi! <laughs> hey everyone, bin bag's just cramed his way into the house. I think every, everyone has heard this clap of thunder, obviously. <laughs> the rooks in the rookery are not very happy. But yeah. then obviously, like, Frisky in the Darkness yeah. have been trying to break in there and eat them for quite a long time. So their, their lives oh, yeah, aren't... babies, Frisky in the Darkness. Babies. They don't really yeah. love it there at the minute anyway, oh, so they're just a bit babies. more flustered. All right, gather up my book babies and go downstairs. <laughs> What's all this about? Oh, it's Wizard Bin Bag. Hello. Hi. It's been a, been a while. Mm. Several months, I imagine. Lay it on us, Bin Bag. Every time this dumb wizard turns up, we have to do something <laughs> stupid involving nature. I run into the room 
bash open the door and I heard a clap of the Hello! At least someone is glad to see me. <laughs> Look, the Airbnb play rate on this place is a thousand gold pieces a night. <laughs> pay up, bin bag. Corazon. What? He's my guest. He doesn't pay. Yeah, suck it, pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roast it. <laughs> roast it to oh, your face. Wow. You guys just gonna let bin bag roast me to my face? It yes. seems like we are. <laughs> Discourteous as your welcome has been, it is indeed time for me to send you off to some place to do with nature. <laughs> Yay! Wizard bin bag, he's the best. Gonna take pollution down to something. <laughs> <laughs> I angrily walk into the garden and chop down a tree. Ah! Listen, there is a peak, a frozen peak to the north. <gasps> Sounds cold and bad. It mm. is a bastion of great beauty and power. It's lovely, really. You should go see it, like, right now, actually, because that's where I'm asking you to go. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? It is under threat from some form of evil. <gasps> I know not what, because I cannot see that far. <laughs> so I figured I'd send you. Isn't a frozen peak miles away the best place for an evil? Like, we don't want an evil near us. No, oh, but it is... It is threatening the beauty and the equilibrium of this beautiful peak. If it's far away and cold and hard to get to, who's appreciating the beauty? Corazon, we've got to do it for the balance, the equilibrium. We've what? taken a lot from this world, it's time we put something back. Exactly. You put it back in the lake every single time we take anything. Yes, yeah, but and it's never enough, is it? <laughs> Apparently also, not. We've got to keep this peak in one piece, right. so otherwise the lakes will be deeper and it will be even harder to get our treasure back. Exactly. We've got to That's keep it in peak condition. That's some baffling <laughs> ge geology, but okay. Yeah. This, I've, been, I've been convinced. This Wh mountain Wisdom is, minus three. This it sounds mountain like a plan. is precious to my kind. It what is, is your kind? Stupid old jerk wizards. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The what Gilmore. You, what tell me about who is Bin Bag? Uh, now is not the time. <laughs> oh, BB. <laughs> Don't call me BB. <laughs> Damn it! This is just like Wizard College again. I think that sound was it sticking. <laughs> ah, damn it! But Aww. listen, this mountainous peak has resisted the corrupting influence of this fell place, Necropolis on Sea. Might I say how disappointed I am in all of you that I find you living here among the ghouls? <laughs> <laughs> it's great here, perfect. I mean, it's got a goth aesthetic that I really vibe with. It's his family ancestral home. Also, oh, yeah, that, that adds pirates. up, yeah. yeah. If, if, if I may, I can't speak for the group. five and five in a minute, <laughs> big bag. I can't speak for the group, but I've been inhaling a lot of ash and dust since we got here, and I feel like some fresh air would do us all good. Yeah, I've been trying to plant some herbs in the garden, nothing seems to be sticking just yet, so I think if we deal with that, maybe we'll get a nice little Let's go team nature. Going. Yeah! Nature. Great! Let's get ex there, yeah, let's I go. feel like the uh, ancient evil might counter the positive effects of fresh air. But I mean, let's go, why not? Well, let's go and breathe well, in whatever is there. prudence? This is a d democracy. Is it? I, I don't know, is it? <laughs> I don't approve of that, but if there's an ancient evil... <laughs> what have you evil... done with the real Corazon? <laughs> this is a democracy. <laughs> there's an ancient evil... Well, I was hoping she'd vote against it and <laughs> I could complain. If there's an ancient evil, I want to go check it out. And see how ancient and uh. evil it is and what I can learn from it. All right, fine, I'll go, but I'm going to complain the whole time. What? I mean, that's a given. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a frozen peak, though. We should probably have Ooh, spiky uh, shoes. Warm. Supplies, snowshoes. All right, I don't bring a coat, but I do bring spiky shoes. Why aren't you bringing a coat? It's going to be cold. There's only room for one coat or spiky shoes. Are we cold? I just have this feeling that any coat I wear might make a lot of leathery sounds that I've been told by our production team are quite irritating. <laughs> <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Wizard Binbag, how far is this icy peak? Oh, um... How many days' voyage to the north? You will reach the base of the, the <gasps> peak within a day. Base oh. camp, Wait, and you can't see that far? Oh, you were talking about how far you can see into the future. Into the sky. You can't look up. Like a dog. When you said, oh, I can't see that far. <laughs> well, when I decided to come and tell you to go look at the mountain, I, I was too far away to see. And now it's your responsibility. Well, just so. teleport there. No. Teleport there and then teleport back and tell us what's going on. <laughs> yeah, come on, Binbag. Can't you even teleport? Guys. Oh, um, uh, teleport, one of, <laughs> teleport one of us. We'll do a quick recce. It takes time to recharge. Oh, That's okay. why I speak so ponderously <laughs> slow. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's, all right, mountain, mountain. Let's Everyone, have um, a nice little hike. 
we'll get have some a look sandwiches in the, in together. The wardrobes, get some furs or something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the most sensible thing. Right. Great. I'll see you when you get back, I suppose. Well, yeah. we know. Um, Do, is there any kind of reward involved in this? I mean, it would really help. With your motivation, the, the rich reward of having restored the balance of nature. So nature. No, then, no, is what you're saying. I thought there would be no reward, but he said there was one, and it was restoring the balance of nature. Yeah. So I'm appeased. Got a yeah. bad reward. All right, I'll give you some money or something. Yeah, money or something. Nice. All right, fine. Uh, uh, this place is old and powerful, and many things slumber in the cold. Do not wake them. Hmm. I put on a one-man band. <laughs> <laughs> There's symbols on my ankles and a large bass drum on my back. Top, there are quicker and easier ways to kill yourself, if that's what you're after. You can just jump in the lake. But there are no quicker and easier ways to kill all of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> easily murder us with a song or something. Thunderwave. Sure, yeah. sure. Mm. okay. Uh, all right, uh, well, so we so we grab some furs from the sort of like, you know, fancy old app, like dusty from furs. From the Narnia-style wardrobes. Yeah. 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 I grab my 80 wolves coat. Oh yeah, it's oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's back. Yeah. When you sort of return from ransacking wardrobes and stuff, Bismuth has um, prepared sort of like a tent that is large enough to sort of pitch. That will it will sleep all of you. You know, you won't have loads of room, but it will be comfortable Bismuth enough. Bismuth's the real MVP. Um, Bismuth, why are you here? Yeah. She's also about coming into the house. She's also Bismuth. attached a little barrel with a little tap on it and, oh, uh, nice. <laughs> under the <laughs> chin of uh, Frisky. <laughs> Chris, he's got a little barrel of like, oh. at the minute he's just like nap, 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 going around the room trying to get it desperately oh. off from, from oh, under his neck. Oh, Frisky, I'm sorry, but it is, the rum. it is bound on <laughs> tight. Yes. And basically she, she and Binbag are just sort of settling in with a pot of tea now. <laughs> like, well, oh, um, I take some casks and breathe into them and then seal them up so that we've got oxygen for when we're up high. <laughs> Guys, I have the oxygen. We can go. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I have a really good feeling about this. Right. Uh, <laughs> you can have inspiration. <laughs> man, can't wait to die on this mountain. <laughs> You're gonna live on this mountain. Uh, Let's and go. Then die on this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> breathe very live on this mountain. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get this over with. Okay. Stupid real, mountain quest. Real negative energy from you today, Corazon. What's up with you? Well, this is a stupid quest. All we're doing is restoring the balance of nature, which I hate. Well, what do you want to do then? <laughs> I want to go and do some piracy. Let's plunder some ch ships. Let's get in a boat and attack another boat. And be, it's always the sea with you. There'll Come be on. something to plunder. There better be. Better be some plunder in this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shall Sweet. we begin our dramatic hike northwards? Fine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It. It's. Yeah. It. It is dramatic, and it's also quite cinematic in that uh, you sort of you move out from Necropolis on sea, which obviously takes quite a while because you're wending your way through all of the graves. <laughs> And then you sort of, there is... Um, Lowering the price of the house, yeah. these graves. We get them cleared. <laughs> uh, goes, yeah. Into the sea. Because obviously, you know, your house is atop the cliffs, you just head north, so you, you've got the sea at your backs. Um, you keep going, and then eventually you do notice that there is, it turns out, a really big honking mountain mm. visible in the distance. Oh. <laughs> it, is, it is completely white with snow. Um, because it's honking. Uh, and <laughs> snow geese. <laughs> um, there's a very, very large mountain that may or may not be honking okay. uh, in the distance. And yeah, it is very, very snowy. It looks cold, but it also looks beautiful. Like the, it's a clear day, there are wisps of cloud. And you're like, eh, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Yeah. Guys, I think this is going to be bad after all. Okay. How are we going to get up this mountain? Run up it. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> go on then. All right. I run up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> With enough momentum, you just have to be careful you don't run so fast and fire off the end. Is this another one where you just run at the sun until I tell you you're at a place where we can continue the adventure? Uh, well, I get, let's look for base camp. Let's establish base camp. Oh, okay, let's okay. Okay. I've heard the word base camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that okay. Oh man, we're going to do so much stuff with the ropes. Yeah. Mm. You All right. Believe. Okay. Let me so. scout out this, this dang, dang at mountain. At the bottom of the mountain. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here Bismuth our Sherpa. Can kind of yeah, set up she's carrying all that stuff. I'm glad you said yeah. Bismuth is coming. I didn't want to be <laughs> yeah. the one. <laughs> she's here, right? Is sure, she, here? she is now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she's setting up camp for us. Bismuth, by the way, sort of like slowly healed herself after the grievous okay. injury. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. The Took bones more. went back into the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's almost back to her normal height. What is Wait, three foot four. four. Three I'm foot fine. four. Yeah. <laughs> Wisdom perception, please, uh, Coruscant. Good old WP. W like to call it the old WP check. That's a 14 plus two. Yeah, uh, so you quite clearly see where base camps have been pitched in the past. 
There are sort of... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think... You probably weren't aware of the idea of, of adventurers leaving stones for one another to signify where there are, like, supplies hidden and oh. a place where you can camp relatively like, easily at mm, night. But cans. you're like, that's probably what that means. Yeah, there's, like, nice. uh, piles of rocks. Uh, they're probably caches of stuff. Is there an obvious route to the top? You Is sort of, obvious? you can see the sort of a, the start of a path, which again, mm. you know, eventually the peak sort of rises out of the effective range of your telescope. But you can see little standing stones that kind of mark the way. Clearly, there is like a decent path up this up this um, mountain, at least for some of the way before it descends into just frozen wilderness. Yeah, well, okay. this, this looks pretty straightforward for the first bit of mountain. Yeah, everyone, strap on your ice spikes. Yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep, yep. Um, Great. I've got my claw toes, so I'm fine. Your yeah. mace, you can sort of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. If it gets icy, yeah. you can flame breath. Apart and when I get to the top, I can sit on my shield and toboggan all the way back. Down. <laughs> oh, <shotgun. laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. Um, yeah. Okay, are you going to check out sort of the little base campy bit with all the stones and stuff? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. let's see if there's anything interesting there. What then. might have happened to, to previous climbers? Yeah, yes. have a route the around. Yes. Adventurers that went before. And can we have their crampons? Mm, got to have crampons. So you head down and there is sort of, as, as you, you get around, everyone can sort of see there are a lot of stones for clearly where people are used to just building fires. There is sort of a, a, an old gnarled dead tree and in the hollow of it is stashed some dry uh, firewood and kindling. Ooh, nice. Um, and there are some like, some like hard tack, it's kind of like mountain rations. So, mm -hmm. you know, you like frozen berries and very dense cakes of just matter very high in fat um, frisky in the darkness are going bananas for them no, no. <laughs> no. Um, okay. that's sort of about it people have carved some messages into the tree actually just all being right. like they're all quite old it's like lovely adventuring like wow the view from the top is amazing <laughs> and then, uh, I would recommend uh, good car parking Meryl, when you see one it's, it's written in druidic <gasps> uh, which is still quite old but um like, it's fresher than the other ones. And it just is basically like, heads up, fellow druids, big old dragon at the top. <gasps> Do not wake. Cannot stress this enough. Be well, very, who's ready to go? <laughs> be very careful. Guys, it's, ready to go. It's ready to go. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's a big dragon. Whoa! Whoa. There's a dragon at the top. Listen, the, um, at the top, we've got to be careful not to wake it, it recommends. Right. Okay. I'll tell you how we could not wake it. Yeah. We could go home. Now. Is the dragon the great evil? I don't know. Might like not be. Sometimes it dragons might, yeah. can be pretty chill. The dragons can be. This one is. It's this like this one. Chill. Yeah, it's like an ice dragon. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, but like sometimes they, they like their own space though. Usually they don't like mm. being disturbed. Mm. You know. Maybe the evil is disturbing the dragon. <gasps> yeah. Mm. And if we and if we destroy it, we can ride on the dragon. The, yeah, and display it for money. Um, well, no. What I will say is sometimes dragons have gold. Ah, so okay. you want to be very careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they sleep on a big around. pile of gold. Let us Sometimes, into the Smelg yeah. pile. The Smelg <laughs> pile? The, the Smelg money mattress. All I've ever wanted is a Smelg pile. Yeah. <laughs> but is taking stuff from the Smelg pile one of the things that generally he'll wakes up the so dragon? He'll be so grateful to us for getting Ooh. rid of the great evil that he'll let us into the Smelg pile and be like, help yourself to the Smelg pile, fellas. You remember I'm still searching for those coins. Probably some of them ended up in that Smelg pile. I don't remember this coin business. <laughs> 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 I remember like, the coin business. It's like because, my whole... It's his main thing. motivation! It's like my whole motivating thing. Is yes. I'm searching for the no, no, I do remember now. I remember your whole stupid rabies thing. <laughs> How do you even get better from rabies? It's incurable. Well, You're that's... so salty today. <laughs> <laughs> I cast calm emotions on God. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thing! Actually, I... Oh, it just worked. Yeah. Cool. Can't remember what I was angry about. Anyway. Uh, cool. That's Mountaineer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, cool, all right, so why don't we all tie ourselves together with rope, yep. um, so that if one of us falls off, all of us do. <laughs> <laughs> and head on up. Sure. Cool, all right. Ropes around the waist, we're all tied together. I've got spider climb, I'm gonna scout ahead. Okay. You know. So, yeah, who's being, who's, yeah. who's going out in front and who's tied to? I'm out in front because I can scamper up. I'm going behind sheer Prudence, rock but faces. also not tied to Death Witch Dob over here. <laughs> right, okay. So um, I tie myself to Death Witch Dob. Cool, all right. We're in this together, but. And then um, Marilyn? Well, pretty well last time, it was fine. Are you in the back? Yeah, but what I do first is I take my bow and arrow and I shoot the beginning of the rope up mountain to give us something a bit of leverage. Are oh, you going to belay the rest uh, of the nice. arrows? Nice, nice, mm, nice. Rope arrows. Nice, 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 cool. 
Yeah. And we can um, Tomb Raider down that later. Ooh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be on my toboggan shield. But sure, you, sure, you sure. Guys do you. We'll all have our own cool ways of getting down the mountain. <laughs> you start to proceed upwards. Prudence. Well, it's, yeah. you know what? It's actually a fairly straightforward journey at, at the start. You, mm. You've got all these sort of standing stones, and then the path starts to get more and more bogged down with snow, and it becomes more arduous. And you start to think maybe this wending track isn't really the answer after all. Maybe we should just try and attack this mountain, just go up it a bit more. So presumably you start spider climbing at that point. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Save it for the sheer rock faces. Because spider climb isn't like indefinite. It's, it's got a you know fixed term. So oh, okay. Don't activate end, it then. Don't end up like running out of spider climb halfway, halfway up. Halfway up. Yeah, like the, no, no, no. Like no, the no, ballad no. of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping an eye on my spider climb gauge. Good. <laughs> the gauge is draining slightly. I begin to assault the rock face vertically, scaling it. Uh, Head first, why not? Okay. <laughs> this time. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so Prudence generates a surprising amount of torque to the point where you can just sort of hold onto the rope and so you're just sort of walking your oh, way up I like that. Yeah. This is eerie, but also very efficient. Nice. So that's what the two of you are doing. Um, and then team not tied, to, well, no, team tied to Dob. Death wish Dob. Yo, yo, yo. Egbert, Dobwish, and Merylwen. How are you proceeding? <laughs> no shortcuts. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Trudge through the trudge through the freezing snow. I say I mean, it's not a race. We're all in this together, Dov. Oh yeah. Okay. This is not a great race. To this. <laughs> <laughs> right. I could I could give us. You, you could know, shoot a the rope. You could. Or help. I could I could you know I've got a way of attaching myself to walls in another form. Maybe. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mer um, yeah. Gonna, yeah. I want to be octopus. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. ice octopus. Man, super glad I didn't tie myself to the octopus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yet again, uh, Egbert, Dob, and Merylwen are all bound up in an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so. So I wrap a tentacle around oh, yeah, you've got Dob and Egbert. Spare, haven't you? Yeah, and you're and absolutely enormous. Climb so up. it's quite slow going, but it does feel very secure. The two of you are kind of just like. like just mm. riding atop this giant octopus, which is slowly moving its way up. Could I ask all three of you to make me a constitution check, please? Constitution. You have to be a five at this point. This is to resist a 20. Cold. You are absolutely fine. Crit, 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 by the way. Crit. Yeah. Crit, 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 crit. Six. Whew. I've got 19 <laughs> plus two, uh, so 21. Mm, Great, okay. Someone's getting frostbite. You're all, <laughs> you're all fine for now. Wow. Um, and then, could all of you make me a um, wisdom perception check? Yeah. So seven minus one, uh, six. Fourteen. Twelve. All right. Uh, you are a bit distracted by the fact that this morning you like woke up in a, a bed and mm. now you're going up, up a, mountain. a mountain on an octopus. The two of you, you hear something whining. You hear a keening off, slightly off the track. Ooh. Just a high-pitched, throaty whine. Uh, I want to know what that is. Is that Corazon? <laughs> it could be Corazon. Some emotions may have fallen off. I'm cold. <laughs> I told you I was going to complain the whole time. All right, so so we're on a sheer rock face, right? Yeah. Uh, and we can sort of just hear it off somewhere, like also it's on the rock face. It's kind of like you're you're going up, and then like the rock might... face is there, and then you've got like a little plateau, and you're going to keep going up, but there's sort of almost a little winding path that goes this way. Ah, okay. I vote we uh, check out this sound because it could be connected to the evil, or it could be something else that's cool. All right, um, I'm getting positive body language from the octopus, and it's hard to read, but that feels like a yes. The tentacle um, up. This that can be either a very offensive gesture, yeah. or <laughs> ascent. Um, <laughs> so once we get to this plateau, yeah. I would like to delicately tiptoe along this ledge, uh, listening very carefully. Uh, and seeing what I can see. The, so you sort of go round the corner, uh, sort of, yeah, edging. There's, there's quite a steep drop. You've actually come quite a long way away. It turns out giant octopus is a very efficient way of travelling. Oh, yeah. The, it's high, high up, isn't it? The ledge starts to broaden, <laughs> and then it sort of turns back into sort of compacted snow, and, oh. uh, you know, some trees sort of reappear. Good. And then um, a little way off in the trees, you can see um, there's a patch of snow that's been sort of disturbed an awful lot, and you see some like spots of red in it. Mm -hmm. And there is, you see a, a form lying prone with sort of thick grey fur, uh, and you can hear just the whining continues. Oh no! Um, all right. Uh, well, um, whatever it is, I'm going to cast uh, cure wounds on it. 
Do you want to check whether it's dangerous first or not? You want to check whether it's dangerous or, or first. It's in. It's hurt. Yeah, yeah, but then it means that you know you then heal it when you're there, and then it knows that you helped it, and then it's less likely to attack you if it's mean. Well, yeah, that's, that's why I'm healing it, right? That's okay, the... make sure you're you're in. The, but you said before you go up oh. to it. I think go up to it first, to see what it is. Oh yeah, no, I have to be touching it yeah. anyway. Oh, so okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, I'm um, back into Meryl. Don't worry, I'm gonna way. touch the <laughs> unidentified furry. Don't thing. worry. Uh, okay, all right, so I walk up with the intention of casting Cure Wounds, which is happening regardless, but as I walk up, I would like to know what it is. There is <laughs> an absolutely enormous wolf. All right, okay, so I'm rolling to cast. It is caught in some form of snare no! that is sort of constricting its neck a bit. It has also hurt its leg in its attempt to get out, and it's, it's sort of like, it's whining, its sides are sort of rising and falling slowly. Oh, no. and it, it, looks, it looks panicked, but in that kind of like, it's not moving. Glad slowly. I didn't wear the old... Uh... <laughs> 40 wolves. Well, Egbert's on the wolves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's the wolf gets it. Um, <laughs> all right, okay, so. Um, I, of you if yeah, it's good. I run How up, do we free it? I run up and cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> I think I know what it's going to say. <laughs> it, looks, ah. <laughs> it, it looks up at you and just says, If you let us can no, I won't kill you. Uh, all right. Is it okay. Um, <laughs> We're I'm very far north. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so with, with so, yeah. one hand I grab Hang one on. half the one one set we need to get him out before we heal him. Oh no, that's what I'm doing, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can grab the thing with my foot, pull the things apart, get yeah. the wolf out, and then okay. with this hand cure wounds. Okay, do yeah. smooth Dexterity motion. sleight of hand check to defeat the snare, please. Psh, that's a fourteen plus well twenty. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yes. Uh, it's sort of like you hear a you hear a, a sort of a a whine and a bit of a snarl as the um, the yep. snare starts to come free. Mm. Um, it's alright, buddy. You, the, the wolf, you hear it be like, "Oh, you must be joking." <laughs> <laughs> um, this, cool, this, I, I love this to. guy. <laughs> yeah, and he sort of like <laughs> shakes itself up and he casts cure wounds on it. Yep. It sort of as he goes to touch it, it like sort of like flinches back and hey. snarls. But I make eye contact and I do it like this. I'm like, "Don't worry, don't worry. He's okay. He's he's cool. Ha- he's hand cool. out, and it's it's under. I I." Put my eyes down in supplication, and it's <laughs> and it's just on the neck, and that's the, that's where I cast the cure wind. Okay, um, you sort of see the the fur where it had sort of like uh, the normal grain of the fur had sort of gone off to the sides where the flesh had sort of puckered, and you yeah. see it's sort of like it's all very silent and quiet, and okay. you know all the sound around you is deadened by the snow, and it's sort of like, but it seems to relax. Sort of pads around a bit. You, you think you give it a moment while it sort of regains its vulpine pride. Mm-hmm. Think about how are you doing in all this. Uh, I'm just looking at my coat, going awkward. <laughs> orcs. Orcs. You didn't know these guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's orcs as well. <laughs> Eighty walls, one orc. <laughs> you, you, you okay? Are you feeling a bit better after that? Yeah, he's pretty. He's a, he's a dab hand with, uh, or should I say, he's a dob hand with you. He, he doesn't know I'm called he, dob. Yeah, he's called dob. See, that's why it's funny. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better when you have to explain the joke. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Merwin, find out from this wolf what's going on in this yeah, mountain. How do you yeah. get hurt? Do you know who left this snare, or do you have any idea? Because I, I mean, you wouldn't have known it was there because you're smart enough not to get caught in it. But if you knew it was there, don't worry. I I admire the wisdom of wolves. <laughs> I've got many wolf friends. <laughs> I'm in the circle of the moon. So. I really regret making this wolf a George. <laughs> it's not too late. You can, it's not too late. You can Maybe it was just the snare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The was restricting its Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's obvious what happened to me. There was a snare. Yes, I know. But have, you, have you seen anyone around on the mountain? Well, no. Might have left it. I mean, I didn't know the snare was here, and I'd rather fancy if the, the whoever set it came back, then I'd already be dead. I'd have been skinned. Incidentally, what is your friend Wed? <laughs> Just a imitation. Wolf. It's yeah. It's Does fake. he know that one of them's a dark? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not very. Uh, got done. <laughs> well, listen. As a as a favour to you, I won't murder him nor any of you. But, Thank um, you. Let's just say I feel very embarrassed about all this, and if you could not tell anyone you meet along the way that I got myself trapped. What's your name? Be great. Um, so that we know what to not tell other wolves. That's a trap. 
<gasps> oh, suddenly he's a trap expert. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Remus. Remus. I love him. <laughs> oh, I, t- I don't know why he's talking to you. Sod it. Yeah. You, yeah, mm. He's talking through me. Yeah. So Tell him my name's Remus. His name's Remus. Okay, cool. That's a good, strong name. Thanks. Cool. And it's fine, we, we won't tell anyone. Like, it, it, and honestly, it's not embarrassing at all. A friend of mine, a long, long time ago, he got trapped in some wires and it was quite a heartbreaking thing. Uh, but, but I managed to nurse him back to health as well and you'll be fine. You'll live a good long life after this. I'm sure Thank you. Well, I don't mind telling you that you should tread carefully because there are all sorts of other snares and traps. And uh, if you don't mind, I'm actually going to find something defenseless in one and I'm going to eat it. Goodbye. (laughs) (laughs) He turns and sort of haughtily stamps off. He looks back at you and is like, "Mm." like, You've never seen you you've never seen a wolf basically do this. <laughs> but it's exactly what he okay. does. Corazon and Prudence are not going to literally not going to believe that this happened. It's the best thing. Which is this is our little adventure. What yeah. do you get those guys are up to back there? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably cold though, isn't it? Some nature nonsense. Yeah, probably, probably yeah, waylaid probably by nature. Making out with a sort tree. Of flower. Or something. Yeah. yeah. An ice butterfly flitted past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they were like, ooh, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Whereas we're well on our way to the great evil. Hell yeah, we are. At the peak of this mountain, we don't really high five because I need all my hands on the <laughs> It's like a metaphorical Yeah, high yeah, five. yeah. If yeah, there's yeah, going to yeah, be a yeah, great yeah, evil yeah. on this mountain, it's going to be me. So yeah. like, mm. You finish that sentence that and pull yourself up like a rocky incline. And you come face to face with a sort of a very long beaked nose oh. and pointed ears and a domed skull with oh. a pointy little chin with lots of little teeth. Oh. And basically oh. this <laughs> little it's it's an it's one of these. It's an ice method. Ooh. You know what these are. Ooh. It's got wings and you're like, ah oh, damn. Because oh. they're they're annoying. They're okay. Jerks. And it looks at you and there's sort of a pause and then it just goes. Rah! We've got an ice method. It's sort of like a mystical pterodactyl. Oh, jeez. That sounds bad. We'll kill it. Uh, well, um, <laughs> Eldritch blasts its face off. The echo of its shriek sort of like dissipates into the mountain and then it pauses and like cocks ahead as you hear sort of this big woof noise from up the mountain. Oh. And there is a small avalanche of snow that has just oh. been disturbed. It goes, Dang. And it, it pauses like. Sounds like the dragon. <laughs> the the sound dissipates and it kind of refocuses its attention on you. Prudence. And I would like you to roll for initiative. Yeah. Two of you. Will Prudence and Corazon overcome the ice method? Can the Oxventurers avoid waking the dragon? And why does nothing on this frozen mountain have any chill? Find out the answers to these questions maybe in the next exciting episode tomorrow on Outside Xbox. Subscribe now so you never miss any of the Oxventure.